Also at six, large protests today against a state senator who made some racial slurs. A crowd gathering outside the South Florida office of Republican Frank Artillis. Demonstrators are demanding that Artillis resign. He has already been removed as chairman of a powerful Senate committee. Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay on this story once again for us live in West Southwest Miami Dade with the story. Terrell. Well, the latest demonstration happened here on the steps of the Bethel Church in the Richmond Heights area. Residents of District 40, as well as clergy from the community, gathered here, and they're now talking about launching a recall petition drive if this lawmaker doesn't step down. We want him removed from the Senate. The outcry over racial it's remarks and other derogatory option. comments by a Would sitting like state senator have hit a boiling point in the very community he was elected to represent. And we say to you, Senator, that you have disqualified yourself. We're calling for you to resign. Republican Frank Artiles publicly apologized Wednesday on the Senate floor for repeatedly unleashing the N-word during a heated yet private conversation earlier this week with two fellow senators who are black. Other demeaning and disparaging words against women were also used. How dare you refer to our women in our community that way and seek to represent us. We don't want you here anymore representing us because our representatives don't talk that way to our elders. Resign now. Resign now. And outside of Artiles' district office in southwest Miami-Dade, several dozen people used chants and carefully crafted signs this morning to pressure the senator out of his seat for good. I've lived here 37 years and I do not accept him as my representative. Right. Frank Artiles has got to go. Yeah. But so far, the freshman senator remains defiant. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I'm not only going to resign, but I'm also going to file for 2018 and win my election. And the fact that he has a history of unscrupulous behavior that's now his chickens coming home to roost means that it's time for him to leave the halls of Tallahassee. And that was former state Senator Dwight Bullard, who was the incumbent for District 40 until he lost his Senate seat to Frank Artillis this past November. Nonetheless, this recall petition drive, they say, will only be launched depending on the outcome of the investigative manner by a special ma uh, special master who has been appointed to look at how many rules, if any, uh, that this state senator broke with those words. We're live in Southwest Miami Dade. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Terrell, thank you. And our team coverage on the state senator's racial slurs moves now to reaction from Governor Rick Scott. Scott speaking out today in Miami. And our Local 10 senior political reporter, Michael Putney, has the latest from the video port. Uh, Lori, Governor Scott today was absolutely clear condemning Senator Artelis for this racist language, but the governor stopped short of calling for his resignation. Rick Scott came to Miami to honor three Cuban dissidents who spent years in Castro's prisons. Afterwards, we asked him, where does Frank Artilles belong? Should Frank Artilles be forced to resign from the Senate? I can just tell you, it, it's, um, it's disappointing, it's disgusting, it's wrong. I mean, I don't know how, why anybody would say racist or derogatory statements like that. I humbly ask to accept my heartfelt Apology. Artillas said his offensive language, while wrong, was what he grew up hearing in Hialeah. I grew up in a diverse community. We share each other's customs, cultures, and vernacular. I realized that my position does not allow me for the looseness of words or slang. For black lawmakers, Artillas' apology was too little, too late. We have filed a complaint formally with the Rules Committee seeking the formal expulsion of Senator Frank Artellis from the Florida Senate. Under Senate rules, Artellis could be censured, basically nothing, reprimanded, a firm slap on the wrist, face expulsion, or they could freeze him out, shun Artellis for the next two years. Should Artellis be expelled by the Senate itself? You know he's he's a separately elected official, and they've got to you know the sends a separate body. They they ought to make they have got to make those decisions on their own. Yesterday, Frank Artillis was apologetic. Today, though, he hired a lawyer in Tallahassee who fired off a letter to the Senate president saying you've got to appoint an independent investigator. Frank Artillis clearly is going to fight to keep his job. We are in the video port. Michael Putney, Local 10 News.